Hi, my name's Emma. Growing up, despite my immense fear of change, it has somehow been one of the only constants in my life. Starting off as your average child from Dublin, at six years old in August 2009, my family set off for Bucharest, Romania. Not realising what we were getting ourselves into, and my little sister Susie believing we were only going for a two-week holiday, school started within the first few weeks of our arrival. Moving from a local national school where I spent junior and senior infants to a school with over a thousand students was a jump I certainly didn't expect. Walking into my classroom, clutching my dad's hand, I went through the door. There were kids from all around the world, many didn't speak English, and the unfamiliarity of the environment set in very quickly. It took me about three months to build the courage to open my mouth and speak to anybody in my class, and at least six to make one friend. Pretty quickly though, I became accustomed to the new pattern of my life. Every year, my, friend, my friends would change as they moved around the world, and it was a rarity to know somebody for over two or three years. I got quite used to meeting new people and actually attempting to make some new friends. I loved exploring Romania as well as living in a compound full of people from all over the world. The winter snow and the summer heat were things that we never had before and they made the perfect setting for some great memories. But ultimately, by the time I'd finally settled in to my new home and school, change struck again. In 2012, we moved to Warsaw, Poland. New house, new school, new people, and one of the biggest differences, my brothers moved back to Ireland to go to boarding school. With now only four of us living in a completely foreign environment, I started fourth class as nervous as ever. Once again, despite how used to new people I was, being the brand new kid in the class was still frightening. I slipped back into my shy self, quiet and puzzled with so many new people and personalities to face. But thankfully, much faster than before, I managed to put myself out there and make some new friends. The house felt lonely in a much more isolated area and suddenly being a lot quieter since my brothers were gone. Very few people spoke English around us and the communication was incredibly difficult outside of the expat bubble. But slowly but surely, we made our way around, learning how to get by and going on adventures to savour our time there as we knew from Romania that the cycle only tended to last a few short years. Before I knew it, I was 12 and it was coming up to the time to start secondary school. At this point, to be honest, I was quite sick of my friends coming and going and I really wanted to move home so I could stay there. Obviously, our circumstances weren't so simple and I got to about April or May of sixth class without, without having any plan for the incoming school year. My parents finally sat me down and told me that I was moving back to Dublin to go to school in Alex. I was so excited that I could finally stay in one place until I finished school. But there was a catch. I was going to board. And if I'm honest, I wasn't that scared or surprised as my brothers had been boarding already for three years. But I still knew it was a huge change I was going to have to face. As the starting date came closer and closer, I became more and more nervous not want and not wanting to go just days before school started. And there it was. My family was split up even more. My brothers in boarding school, my mum and sister living in Dublin, my dad working in Amsterdam and commuting home on the weekends, and me boarding in Alex. The fear of losing touch with my family, combined, co combined with saying goodbye to all of my friends in Poland, almost distracted me from the reality that I was moving to a new school, was going to be sharing a bedroom with people I'd never met before, and once again was going to into a new year where I didn't know anybody. It was quite a lot to take in, but if I'm honest, heading into boarding was the best way to tackle the new situation. I was quite a master at the whole moving country thing, but it didn't stop me from being absolutely terrified, as somehow this time it felt a lot more permanent. On day one, the 12 boarders walked into the concourse together, checking our class lists, and into 1H I went. In no way am I saying that the first year making friends was a walk in the park, because it certainly wasn't but I went back in head first and I'm very glad that I did. And here I am standing in my bedroom. I don't board anymore. And in the past few years, my family are suddenly all living under the same roof again. In one house, the six of us simultaneously on Zoom meetings, lectures and classes, connected to devices all over the country and world. With Zoom under such pressure sometimes, I get the banner, your internet is unstable. With my teacher's choppy chatter attempting to play in the background, I am reminded, on a much smaller scale, of the unpredictability of any given moment in life. Now more than ever, when we look back 10, 5, or even just one year ago, we never could have imagined or planned where we are today. 
The world is a constant rotation of events which we can never predict. But it's through all of these changes that we develop our stories, friends, and our personal movies turn from black and white to colour. Unfortunately, the only thing certain in our world today is that our coming days are filled with uncertainty. So in the words of Maya Angelou, if you don't like something, change it. And if you can't change it, change your attitude.